All right, thanks for joining me. This is Tundra Mike here. I'll be showing you how to jailbreak this iPod Touch today. How I got this done today. Okay, so um, first thing you're going to need is this guy right here called Quick Freedom. Basically, but basically with this, that's all you're going to need. That's it. Um, so uh, go ahead and pull up Quick. I already got it pulled up, but it's just QuickFreedom.com. QuickFreedom.com. It comes straight to this page, and you just download version 1.2. Right there, boom. Um. All right, a little sick. Sorry about that, but okay. So once you get that downloaded, let's go ahead and uh, pull it up. Boom. That's what it's going to look like. So from here, you'll need to install two things. You'll have to go ahead and install this lib USB. So just go ahead and click on that, install it. Um, if you're running Vista, what I would do is once you install both of these, just go ahead and install uh, the original firmware, download that, and then install this lib USB. Once you're done with that, just go ahead over here to my computer and type in L-I-B-U-S-B alright then once it comes up right click on that go to properties go to compatibility and run run this program in compatibility for Windows XP Service Pack 2 okay and then click OK OK so then you should have all this done so now what you need to do oh and I forgot to mention sorry about that you're gonna wanna make sure your iPod is connected at this point so uh, go ahead and um, so I got it connected I'm not gonna be doing this whole process with you guys but it's gonna be so easy um, a caveman can do it but um, I just don't want to do it again because I don't want to install everything all over again and and resync and all that. But um, okay, so yeah. Since I that that came up automatically when I plugged it in. Okay, so now that you've got all that done, go ahead and press on next. Okay, up here it's gonna say uh, install installer. Just leave that checked. If you want to use custom logos, you can. Um, I've never messed with this to tell you the truth, but oh, you see what that does? Huh? So instead of showing that, you can make it like that. Oh, this is a recovery logo, though. Boot logo. That's a nice apple. Pwned. Pwned. There's a nice little apple right there. Pineapple. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave mine alone anyways. I, and plus I'm not doing this again, so okay, and once you've done that, go ahead and click on this to create firmware. It's gonna take a couple minutes. Go ahead and create the firmware and just save it to somewhere because you're gonna need to um get back to that, okay? So once you're done creating firmware, you're gonna go ahead and press on next. Okay. All right. So now, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and put your your device into DFU mode. And how you do that? Just take this guy right here, and you just hold down on this both of these buttons at the same time. So this top one and this one. Hold down on them. Hold them both down for about 10 seconds. It's going to be like 8 to 10 seconds. Count it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay? So once you get to, to about 10, you're going to hear, you know, you have to have this plugged up. You're going to hear uh, a ding on your computer. Okay? Like, like you were disconnecting a device, that kind of noise. You're going to hear that. So once you hear that, let go of the power button. Okay, then when you hear the next one about 
five, eight seconds later, then you let go of this. So when you're doing it, boom, one, two, three, and about right when you get to ten, you'll hear one beep on your computer. Let go of that. Then right when you do that, one, two, three, and then you'll hear another one. Then you let go of that. Then it'll be in DFU mode. And don't worry at this point because your, your iPod's going to look like that. It's going to be blank. Okay? So don't freak out. Um, okay. Then, once you see it, just tells you right here. Uh, now you need to put in DFU mode. Okay? So go ahead and do it. I just showed you how to do that. Then press uh, start pre gel break to turn to make your iPod turn white. So you go ahead and press start pre gel break. Boom. Press that. Then, once all that's done, just go ahead and click on next. Now it's going to tell you, uh, oh, okay. So now that your iPod screen is white, open iTunes to restore to your custom firmware. Hold shift and click restore and then the file custom firmware on your desktop. So what this means is when you get to your, I your iTunes stuff is going to pop up a couple times during this process. Just go ahead and uh, get get rid of those messages off your screen and just minimize this. Then you're going to notice that that it's going to that it's going to say restore, and all this information here is going to be like blanked out. Okay, don't worry about that. All you got to do at this point is um, before you press restore, just hold down on the shift button, hold down on the shift button, and then click restore. So just press shift and hold it and then click on restore let's see if I can do that for you so what it does is it brings up this menu here it brings up one of these so you go ahead and place your custom firmware in there so then you're gonna go boom custom firmware put it in there and then open and voila that simple then It'll it'll go ahead and d go back to everything. Um, oh, it's gonna ask you to. Um, it's gonna ask you, do you want to back up or not? Uh, you're gonna want to say no. Anytime you jailbreak, you're not gonna want to back up because it might not work. Some things might not work right. Why <laughs> work right? Um, and don't worry, you've got everything synced up in here. All you're going to have to do is just resync your iPod. Just I've got so much stuff downloaded on my phone and all that. I just don't want to have to go through and find everything again and do all that. And I've got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff on this iPod. So, I don't want to have to go through that all again. So, yeah, I mean, just with everything I've told you, I mean, it's pretty much foolproof. Um uh, Quick Freedom does a good, great job of, of um, helping you through this, and then hopefully with what I've showed you, there's no questions. And um, but if there is, um, feel free, message me, do whatever you got to do. I'll get right back to you. When it boots back up and does all of this stuff over here, um, you're going to notice that you're going to have Cydia and Installer right next to each other. They're going to look different than this because mine is. Um, since I got this theme, it changed the way they look. But you'll see City and Installer right next to each other. I would go into Cydia right away and download um, Winterboard and just really just start messing with it. Uh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. So um, uh, have a great one. I hope this helps. If um, I might do some revisions on this video. Um, but, yeah, you're great. Thanks. Bye.